ShireSociety.com. So there was this sort of super dramatic announcement by Libertarian Party gubernatorial candidate Gillette Jarvis. This was in August, but it sort of, you know, I like d- dramatic announcements sometimes do, it just sort of passed under the radar of pretty much everybody. But I thought it was worth quoting. On the ShireSociety.com forum, she writes, quote, Help! Need armed security, August 18th. Tomorrow, 818 at 1 p.m., is a rally for DCYF reform at the State House. One of my speakers has received a threat of violence that if she gets up to speak, she will be pulled away from the microphone and will regret it from her abuser. She says uh, uh, she will still be there speaking. I am looking for armed individuals willing to be security and to request politely that this man leave the area if he shows up. He may have her three-year-old son with him because he doesn't care and may be armed. Unquote. And then there is some discussion. There's a thread, uh, a discussion thread, and later in the thread she writes, quote, The threat was not idle, and we did have someone show up. But luckily, the people I had there went out to make their presence known, and so this person drove around in circles for a while, and then finally left. I was glad we had people there, and so no incident occurred. I also took the child that was involved and whisked her away to safety prior to the event starting, and did not have her brought back until after the safety issue was resolved. She had a great time and never knew there was a threat to her. Unquote. So, like I said, dramatic stuff. But I haven't seen a frame of video from this, this, uh, this rally or this apparent security issue. That's the kind of time you get video if something like that's going on. But at least Gillette is doing something. I hope she doesn't burn out. She did go on to win the Libertarian Party candidacy. There was a Libertarian primary for governor, and she won the the primary. For what that's worth, now she must go on to, in in order for this probably to be worth her time, she has to at least get 4% of the vote in the general election. Otherwise, the Libertarian Party will lose its much vaunted ballot access, likely sinking back into obscurity. But because of this, you know, there is, that's an attainable goal, so I think I will vote for, I think I will vote for her for, for governor. I guess, I guess I did vote for Libertarian for governor in 2016, just because uh, Sununu was not clearly going to be better than the Democrat. He's not awful, but I didn't want him on my conscience if, if he, I didn't want him on my conscience if he went bad, and he has gone a little bit bad, I guess. Ridley out. The old world is collapsing, and it's going to take its slave driver governments with it. But what will rise up in their place? In New Hampshire, the Shire Society has a plan, a thriving web forum, and a history of action. It didn't take long to come up with a plan. You can sign up right now at ShireSociety.com.